Okay, so in retrospect, I kind of, uh, there were a couple of points during Dragon Roost Cavern which I could have used the Tingle Tuner a bit more effectively. There was, uh, that treasure chart that I could have just used a Tingle Balloon just to float across before even getting the grappling hook. And then there was another point where I could have just used a Tingle Bomb to to blow up the boulder that was outside, uh, well, in the first exterior room of the dungeon. So yeah, there was a lot of uh, basic points where I could have had more common sense, but it is what it is now. Hey, Pazanos, this is Toon Gamer 23 and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. So in the last part, we completed Dragon Roost Cavern. We completed our first dungeon of the game, and we received our first mandatory item, Din's Pearl. Or, uh, as I like to call it, a discount Dragon Ball. Okay, this is the Pearl of the Gods spoken of in Rito Legends. Right, so, uh... So there's still a couple more things we can do here, but I guess we should maybe talk talk with the King of Red Lions first. It would seem that Ganon sent those monsters to this place. But that would mean... There is no time to lose! We must depart at once for the place where the next Pearl sleeps! We sail to the south! Okay, yeah, only problem with that... We need the wind, uh be pointing southward, so you remember at the end of the last part, Valu stated in his native tongue, use the wind god's winds. And it has to do with that little shrine out here. So we look at these tablets, one of them is is in perfect condition, the other one is seen better days. Alright, let's check uh, this one. It's broken. Uh, duh. Okay, so use the Wind Waker. So, so this one has markings on it. There appear to be markings that indicate specific directions. Okay, so we're gonna learn our first Wind Waker song. Hit it! Up, left, right. Alright, three, four, time. Up, left, right. We're gonna be using this song a lot. You learned the wind's requiem. Whatever, di whatever direction the wind blows, you will command it. Yep, that's a mighty fine breeze. Hey, what? <laughs> My name's Zephos. I'm the god of winds. And you're a frog because... Yeah, better not to question it. So you're the new Wind Waker, are you? Great, great! For a beginner, you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tune you just picked up? Well, it gives you control over the direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing or a very bad thing. You want an example of it being a bad thing? Then you should see my brother. It saddens me to say that my brother, Cyclos, is miffed about his monument here being broken, and now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. Wait, so he wasn't responsible for trashing his own mark... marker? All this... all these years I actually thought it was him that just up and said... F this monument and just... he trashed it himself. But I guess I wasn't paying close enough attention. So if you encounter any cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me, will you? And that is my request for you! Peace out, bitch! <laughs> Alright, so... 
So like I said, we're going to be using the Wind's Requiem a countless number of times. So, in order to change the direction of the wind, this is your song. Alright, so there is a couple more things we can do here on Dragon Roost before we sail southward. One of them involves the grappling hook! Once again. Grappling hook! So up there you'll see some poles. All right, so we're just, just barely within reach. Okay, so you can actually stop and climb here. And get on top of these jutting wooden poles. And up there is a redder. Doesn't matter, because we don't have any more wallet space. So, this red beauty will be going to waste, but... But whatever, we can... And add some more loot to our list for later. Alright, so now that the... So now that Valu's rage has been calmed... Let's speak with some of the... Postmen inside and see how they're recouping. Ah, I heard of your trials. Nicely done. You must be weary. Not really. I feel in great shape since I've got all four hearts. Long time no see. How have you been? Pretty nice, honestly. Okay, so if we go to check on Kamali at, right after this... Oh. Well, oh, well, he's not here. Huh. Okay, uh... Never mind. So I guess he's still up on, uh, Dragon Roost, still... waiting for Valu to give him his scale. Or he's in the midst of trying to ascend the caverns. Okay, so yeah, there's... Questionable how many Ritos have died trying to make it up there. I mean, it's, uh... It's an active volcano, after all, so... Okay, and... Aha! There's a chieftain right in there. Okay, so... What do we got here? Ah, it's a pleasure to see you again. I thought things would be easier once the problems with the Great Valu were solved, but now I find we're busy trying to catch up on regular business issues. So, yeah. We're getting, uh... Little taste of what the real world is like in in the fantasy world. I have no idea why she wants a golden feather, but you know how it is. It doesn't matter real why really. I just want to see her happy, to see her smile, you know. Which is why I told her I'd send her one. Yeah. Well, we do. <sighs> well, we do have a golden feather on us, but our reward is a pretty valuable rupee, and considering we have no wallet ch space right now, we'll hold off on that. Ah, Scooty. I hoped I would get the chance to thank you in person. Medley told me everything. I am extremely grateful for all that you have done. It seems you have helped my son, Kamale, find his courage as well. You have done so much for us. I thank you. By the way, are you using our post boxes? Well, as you might know, since you left the island, all letters and packages addressed to you have been delivered to whatever post box was nearest to you. you I probably might have uh, spoken to him too soon, but uh, yeah, that's basically what post boxes are. So, Of course, the system is not perfect. You tend to move around a lot. So be sure to check any moving post boxes you find in your travels. Do not forget. Okay, so we got royal guards here. Master Scooty, Medley is busy with her attendant studies. Is that not correct, Skit? Skit? 
Oh, that is quite correct, Akut. Please come back to see her some other time. Okay, so I guess this is basic twin banter. Right here. The twin banter trope. I believe that Prince Kamali has gone to Dragon Race to study. Is that not right? Akut, look alive! Yes, yes, of course. I deem you are absolutely correct, Skit. He told us to give you his regards, Master Scooty. And we enter through here, and we find that Dragon Roost Pond is at peace now. Well, of course, there's still the Ashfield's ground, but hey, no, nothing's perfect here. Alright, so what does this guard have to say? Hey, welcome back! Oh, that's that's all? Are you gonna try rebuilding the bridge again? Yep. Maybe this guy will tell us. Be careful out there. So yeah, not only is the way back to Dragon Roost Cavern, if you want to go back, cleared out. But, uh, that lava pit you had to cross... Wait for it. Is no longer a lava pit. It's all cooled now. We're all cool, just like with... The Great Valu. Still sitting on top of the mountain. Okay, let's let's get on with what we're we're supposed to be doing. This enough of the enough of the filler. Okay, this is okay. So, like I mentioned a few parts back, there's a mail sorting mini game we can try out. Okay, so right here, speak with this guy. Well now, I've not seen your young face before. Nope, I don't believe so. Hmm? You wouldn't be here in response to our posting for some part-time help, would you? Uh, well, I am looking for some time to kill, so... Ooh, excellent! That's good, but first, to see, to see if I can use you or not, I need to give you a little test. Just a small one. Pass the seal on the envelope with the same icon on the shelf, and throw the letter onto that shelf. Real easy. Simple. Use the control stick to select the shelf, and press A to throw a letter. Like I said, simple. Is that clear? Sure. Before time runs out, you have to sort at least ten letters. Give it your best shots! Okay, this one's for Tingle, this one's for a Tropic, this one's for a Mad Cat, this one's for a Palm Tree, a Mad Cat, Ravenclaw, and another Palm Tree. Okay, so this one's for a plant type of thing, and for a Mad Claw. This one's for like a, a vial or something, and another one for Tingle, Tingle, Vile Tingle. Okay, so 17 letters. 17 letters! Great! Good! Terrific! You pass! Okay, you get one rupee for every two letters, so that comes to a grand total of eight rupees, am I right? Come back anytime. I mean it. Anytime. The more letters you sort, the more you'll earn. Not a bad deal for both of us. I really wish I had more vault space. And that's not all. You find some more breakable items in the storage room. And you won't get busted either. Thank Hylia. Okay, so regardless of whether or not you have more wallet space, this. You don't get anything special from the minigame directly, but, uh. You want to set a new record, and then you'll get something good in the mail later on. Alright, second round. Hey, you ready for work? No, not now. 
Oh, okay. I suppose I understand. I'll stop by again when you have time. Alright, psych. Ready. You already understand what you need to do, am I right? Yep. If you support 20 or more letters, you'll see some nice financial gain. Go ahead and get started. Okay, this one's for jury duty. Jury duty. Jury duty. Blackmail. Ink slip. Ink slip. Chain letter. Eviction notice. And jury duty for you. Jury duty for you. Black blackmail. Another pink slip for whoever. Sorry, bum gets fired. Okay. Oh, shoot, one letter, one letter off. 19 letters. Let's see, I owe you one rupee for every two letters, so that's nine rupees. I'm by any time. Okay, so, what do you do? The higher your salary will become. That's economics. Hooray, our first experience at real world economics as kids. Kind of. All right, let's, let's get 20 this time. Alright. Tingle. Tingle, tingle, kululipa. Okay. Red Claw. Whatever that Mad Cat's mail system goes to. Nope. Alright. Mail Flicker. Mail Flicker Pro. That's 22 letters! Splendid! Super! Hmm, your salary this time is 1 rupee per letter, so I need to pay you 22 rupees. Alright. Come on by anytime. I mean it. Anytime. What do you do? You hire a salary. Okay. Oh, yes. We got... Every... We got a rupee for every two letters, and that time we got a rupee for every one letter. But it doesn't really show, considering we don't have any wallet space! Okay, 25 letters or more. Your salary will really jump. I mean it. Okay, so... Alright, get to work. Okay, let's hyperdrive it. Ludicrous speed time! Red Claw, Red Claw, Red Claw, Red Claw! Okay, yes! Mad cats, mad cats. Vial of water, potion, or whatever. Mad cat, mad cat, mad cat. Okay, yes. Whoop. Oops. Ah, so close. Twenty-three letters. Okay, I so say yeah. Twenty-three. We can do better. Be thankful it's not 30 letters that we have to do. Alright, come on! Alright, come on! Work with me! Work with me! Ah, dang it! Sometimes you just need to flick them haphazardly, I guess. Just be thankful this is not hourly. This is this is mostly part part time. Just no, dang it, no. Okay, this one stink. Won't be expecting any benefits from this part-time job either. Okay, come on. So yeah, kind of glad I saved this for uh, later parts. Red Claw! Okay, Mad Cats! Mad Cats! Huh. Oh. 
Dang it. Okay, come on. Come on, come on. No! Dang it. No! Really? Oh, come on. Vile mad cats, red claw. Ow! Stun him! Alright, come on. Vile, vile. Okay, palm tree. Mad cats. Palm tree. Palm tree. Palm tree. Palm tree. Oh, son of a bitch. So close. It's so far. No nugget. <laughs> no. Close but no cigar. It's always close but no cigar. Just... Alright, come on. Work with me. Ah! No, no, oop, oop. Spastic episode. Come on. All right, come on. No. Come on, some son of a winged whore. Come on. All right, every second counts. All right. All right, will this be my lucky break? No, it won't. Uh, no, no, no. no. sorting. Time for this! Okay, so I might have to put a pin in this one too, but let's come back later and. So, like with the fleet, I'm probably gonna have to skip this and just move on. Alright. Alright, come on, Mad Cats! Palm tree! Palm tree! Vile. Mad Cat, Red Claw, wherever they go. Okay, so, Mad Cat, Smile, Red Claw, F Son, that's it, I'm, I'm done. We'll come back later. God, I hate these. You have to freaking earn your stupid heart pieces. I'm done, okay? I'm out. I don't have time for this. 
Alright, so... So that's two places we're gonna be coming back to later. But... Right now, let's just move southward. Let's just get this show on the road. Alright. Alright, you conducted the Wind's Requiem. Goody, goody. Alright, southward, ho! Alright, so... Sail to the land to the south. Okay. Alright, come sail away, come sail away with me. And before we get anywhere else... Oi! Hold it right there, small fry! A fishman! How quaint. I don't know where you got your mitts on that sea chart you got there, but it looks to me like it's pretty much got nothing but seas drawn on it. It's pathetic! In fact, it's almost an insult to call that thing a sea chart if you ask me. <laughs> What's the matter, small fry? I'm just trying to be nice here. I'm telling you that you've got a problem, and you do. Don't give me that stupefied look. It looks like you... It, it makes me look like you ought to be in diapers. Aren't you charming? Just listen, okay? I'm here to teach you what I know about this island. So open up your sea chart and make it snappy. So yeah, this little guy is actually going to be your map guide. To draw in every island and every quadrant. So long as you give him a little tip in return. <laughs> All peppers bait. There's a real peculiar cave toward the backside of this here Dragon Roost Island. Yeah, real peculiar, but I doubt you'll ever get there to see it, small fry. Unless you get managed to sprout wings and fly, that is. And you won't be getting near otherwise. That's all I can teach you, small fry. But I will do this for you. Since I'm feeling so generous, I'll send word to all my brethren living near the islands of the Great Sea. Good bunch of fish. Oh Christ, there's more of them! If you see a fish leaping out of the water, when you sail near an island, sail up to it and spread bait out on the water's surface. Trust me, this is good advice, Fry. See, the baiting process allows you to get a chart of the islands, along with any info that might be of use to you. I highly recommend you make a habit of doing so. See, you're definitely going to need a reliable sea chart to help you search for things out at sea. I can't empathize that enough, Fry. You need a well-drawn chart. If you don't get a chart for every island you come across, well, it'll just be a bigger hassle for you later on. Now don't say I d never did anything for you, Fry. Hoy, you there! You kingly red lion guy! That's it! I repaid my debt! I'm done! You take care of the rest! So what? So they're in cahoots somehow. Whatever, we're off! To the southward seas and beyond! Okay, so the minute we get out of range of Dragon Roost and Blue just sitting up there and his fat ass. Okay, so his fat scaly ass. We travel to an active volcano, which is pretty much the. Well, I won't say anything just yet. I get that this is an old game, so, uh. You all watching have more than obviously at least watched Let's Plays of it in general, so you know how this game functions. But there's probably just that one or two percent that is still has probably been living under a cave their whole lives and really don't know anything about Wind Waker, so. So I won't spoil anything, even though this game is is basically 20 years old now. 
And it's even got an HD remake, so... Alright, so... Sail away to a distant land. Just avoid the updrafts on your way. But we will, but we do run into some good friends along the sea. If you look carefully. Like the... Like these guys in scuba tanks right here. Alright. Yeah! Mighty fine boat you got there, bub. You might you must be searching for treasure on the seafloor too, aren't you? Ha ha ha! You won't get any from us, bub. Not likely. Let me ask you something real quick. Who wanders around on a fishless sea? I'll tell you who, bub. Only pirates, monsters, and treasure hunters like ourselves. And maybe some other things that I've never heard of. <laughs> this team just nods in agreement in unison. I've always been a sucker for that kind of trope, just with uh, all those uh, beings that look alike, just nodding in agreement. You know, with all the weak island dwellers who live near their shores, I'm amazed to see such a tiny little guy out here. I like your style, bub. I feel like I've known you my whole life. So hey, bub, tell you what. As one treasure hunter to another, I'll give you this. You'll definitely be needing it if you want to haul up treasure. Come on, take it. I won't take no for an answer. I also won't take nay, nope, or nar. Just grab it. Alright, another treasure chart to add to our pile. So yeah, whenever... So, with the help of the grappling hook, we can salvage sunken treasure. But we'll wait for that later. First, press up on the D-pad to open your C-chart, then press Y to check your special charts. You search for treasure by comparing the specific island charts on the left with the treasure charts on the right. Then you just use your grappling hook while in your boat to haul up treasure. Yeah, those grappling hooks. Nothing pulls up stuff like those things. <laughs> Never gets old. Well, uh, treasure buddy, good luck to all of us. Happy hunting. Bye. 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 All right, so sailing through some stormy weather. Get used to it. We'll be doing a lot of that. Okay, so I'm, I'm aware that the hot topic amongst the Zeldaverse right now is Tears of the Kingdom, and I will, and I do plan to play that, but honestly, I've uh, only gotten through halfway through Breath of the Wilds. I mean, uh, I mean, not counting all the numerous side quests that there's no doubt going to be, but uh, it's just... Uh, it's just so, so many games to play and just so little time to do it in. Just, that's everyone's dilemma. That's every gamer's dilemma. Alright, so while we're out here, we might as well check on a submarine! Right there. Okay, so. So like with any mini dungeon or something like that, this one has a valuable item. First things first, you gotta fight for it. Okay, so. Fight off the elites. And they're. Ah! Okay, so I guess the vermin kind of did me a favor for once. Just with, uh. Adding some space for my wallets, but that's not important. What isn't important is that is that we get wait for it another empty bottle. Okay, so right, so yeah, really mine. Get your hand, get your grimy little paws off my loot. 
I also love how uh, each of these in submarine interiors just kind of has that uh, same design as the interior of Tetris Pirate Ship. Okay. Let's com let us complete our sailing. To the twin peaks in the distance. And like I keep saying, those platforms will save for later. Once we're more properly equipped, because that one's armed with cannons. Probably need some explosive ammo for that. Alright. Sail to our next destination in the middle of the night. Alright, so. This is our destination. After a couple more rupees. Hey. Yes. Do you not see what rises up from the horizon? That is where you must go, Scooty. The Forest Haven. Alright, so Forest Haven. Basically, what's the... The aftermath of Kokiri Forest is over a hundred years later. It may appear as though this is but a great tree rising far above the ocean's surface. But it is a sacred place. It is inside this rock grotto that you will find the spirit of the earth. The Great Deku Tree. See, even it has its own Deku Tree. Say so, yeah. All this is starting to make sense now. You must speak with the Deku Tree and receive from him the second gem known as Faror's Pearl. I fear that Ganon's vile hand may have already reached this most sacred of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution, Scooty. Alright. Sail to our next destination and... I think, uh... Beetle is tempting us to climb aboard his shop shift, but... Uh, shop ship. Yeah, having difficulty with words. But that'll wait until the next part. We've done plenty in this part. We've done mail sorting. We've uh, gotten a couple of collectibles. Blah, blah, blah. We've got the merman. Okay, so... We'll, def we'll continue our journey in the next part. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, and if you would leave a comment and or like, that would be most appreciated. Until next time on The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, this is Tune Gamer 23 signing out. <laughs> in, a, in a weird way, I like how, uh, how, uh, Oh, uh, Scooty's tunic just blends in perfectly with, uh, the grassy texture. Just, like, if he were something like a, like a forest ninja, he'd blend in perfectly. <laughs> it's all in the camouflage.